series have been cut short. No, like I said, you know, so it feels to me that there's never anything that's, that you can keep going for a long time in science fiction. Because really? I was in 24. I was in, I mean, like, it's plenty of series. Look, the bottom line is this. They did, when, when Battlestar ended, Sci-Fi begged Ron and David to go another year, to which they said, absolutely not. It's not going to happen. The story has ended. And then Sci-Fi went and said, it's the best series we ever had, but we'll never make another show like that again because it's too heavily serialized and we don't understand it. <laughs> okay? That's actually the truth. Is it all about the ratings? Good. We're the space between soap commercials. Now, let's see. How many people here watch Supernatural? Okay. What, what season are you on? Seven? Who's watching season seven? Right. So you're all totally illegally downloading this show. Hold on, hold on. I've had this conversation many, many times. So you're illegally downloading the show and watching it. Problem with that is, according to the networks, right, they're not getting money from what you're doing. So therefore, they can't monetize that. What we keep saying is, hold on a second, these are the same people who are going to watch it if it was on television as well. And these are the same people who are going to buy the bloody DVDs when they come out as well. And they're going to watch it again. And with Battlestar, they're going to have four versions of it. And with Firefly, they're going to buy three copies of it and give two of them to their friends at some point. They're going to introduce people to the show. So the trouble is, is they agree and they believe in what I'm saying and what we're saying on our side. But they can't monetize it yet. They can't work out how if you want to watch it at the same time here as it was created in the States, right? How can we make money out of it? Because you can't put commercials in it. You get my point? So once they work that out, we'll be fine. You guys, don't, you watch it commercial free most of the time, too. So. Okay, next question, please. First of all, I want to ask if you're enjoying your time here in Dubai so far. How are we enjoying our time in Dubai? Yes. Are you enjoying yourself? I love it. Look, it's not being rude to Dubai. Anybody that was born here or loves this place, it's. I've been to many cities in the world. This is a very strange city. It's very new and there's, and there's not much of it. What makes this place fabulous? What makes this place amazing? Please don't just quote that first part. <laughs> what makes this amazing is the people. The people here are wonderful. Everybody is so open. And for this being the first Middle East Comic Con, I'm telling you, the actors will be asking us how we were treated and how it was. And we, in a minute, please come, we'll be going, go, you'll have a great time. They treat you wonderfully. The hospitality is fantastic. Thank you so much. We've had so many of you from so many different parts of the Middle East and even further and beyond, and Africa and everywhere else. I'm just, I'm just shocked. It's just a lovely experience to see you all. We love every minute of it. It is, it's a lovely place to be. You guys love it here, right? We love it even more now there's a comic on every year, yeah? Hey, when these guys work out how much power they have to get Ben and everybody else to bring the stars that they want to come here, it's going to be really fascinating. Well, this is what we want. We want you to go to Facebook. Go on the site. Absolutely. 
tell us how you've enjoyed it, how you've enjoyed the stars. I mean, the quality of these guys is top notch, yes? Yeah. You know, you can't be, it's the first one. We've done the I'm coming every year. Well together. I'm coming every year because I'm on every show. I'll just keep doing new sci fi shows and good shows. And we're both, we're both on we, Twitter, so absolutely. follow us on Twitter and tell us, you know, if we've met you. Say hi to us on Twitter. I'm at, at Luciana Caro. And Mark underscore Shepherd. And why aren't you following me, by the way? Because you haven't asked me to. Why do I have to? I, I started following you. Well, I'm following And you have to follow me back. I'll follow you. Okay. That's creepy. You heard it, right? That was a stalkerish type moment, wasn't it? Was follow me. I'll follow you. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't realise I wasn't following you. Okay, I believe. I'll believe. follow you. So, uh, what are we on now? We're on episode 19 last night, right? Some of you haven't seen it yet, I know. Uh, still downloading it. Next, right week, uh, next week is Felicia Day, the great Felicia Day. It's going to be fantastic. And uh, the week after that, I won't tell you. That will be 21. Then 22 and 23. Ooh, Crowley's back. <laughs> it's all about getting dick. <laughs> I can't hear you. Are we gonna like it, the season finale? I have no idea. I know Crowley likes it. <laughs> we don't, Crowley doesn't care whether you like it or not. <laughs> what about Castiel? Oh, what, the baby in a trench coat? <laughs> That's who you should have come out here. Misha would do great out here, wouldn't <laughs> we'll tell, it? We'll tell Ben to get Misha Collins out here. Facebook him. If enough of you do it, they'll do it. You guys, you've got to realise the power of your social media. You've got, you've got the ability to vote with your feet, you know? Yeah. If you will come and you will ask, they will provide, right? We will book. Then you will go. come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have some quick fire questions. You can, you can ask me to do this yesterday. Go on. Hi. Uh, I have a friend from Granada. Who's a huge fan of yours? Who? Um, her name, uh, she's one of my school. No, who's the person? Who's the fan of <laughs> <laughs> Not your fan. Oh. Yeah. And uh, she wanted me to ask you, do you prefer playing the good guy or the bad guy? I've never played a bad guy in my life. <laughs> Every person I've ever played is absolutely right and morally true. <laughs> like you in real life. Like you in real life, of course. Yes, of course. Hi, um, you're a musician as well. You started your band and you started playing when you were 15. Do you still continue playing the drums? And you have... Say again? Do you still continue playing yeah. the drum? Yeah, drum show them the picture. I got lots of pictures, it's fun. A picture of him when he was, what, 16? Just, just Google pictures of me, you see pictures of me playing anyway. Yeah, I, think uh, you I, should, I think you should tell them how, how, you, how you got your name on the show. Where your name came from. Romo? Romo. Romo is Ron Moore. Did you guys know that? That's Michelangelo's pet name for Ron Moore. I love the More Romo campaign, did you ever see that? No. You didn't see that? No. Well, when I, when, I wasn't on for a while. The fans started a More Romo campaign. And they cornered, there was literally 10,000 incidences of them holding up placards with More Romo, including grabbing Ron at a small book signing in upstate New York and handing him a piece of paper and saying, can I take a picture of you with this? <laughs> this girl was shaking so hard. And he's literally, I have a photograph of Ron holding a More Romo picture going, and he literally emailed goes, your fans are everywhere. <laughs> and there was this amazing grassroots thing. And he knew he was bringing me back, but the fans really kept pushing and pushing and pushing until Romo was brought back. It was wonderful. Let's go. Hi. Um, just one question for Mark Shepard. Well, this Mark Shepard. Yeah. Okay. This Mark Shepard. The one on the left. Let's get back. Hurry up! Hurry up. <laughs> um, please. What? <laughs> in the background. <laughs> but they're all in here. <laughs> but, 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 the, but the people that want the photos are here. Have you all got your token? Have you all got your token? We're staging a coup. We don't care. We will not move. You tell Ben, tell Ben to come in here and talk to me.
He did oh, ask me a question. You're on the microphone. Hey, don't you come in here and start bossing us around. See you later. All right. Okay, how's it playing a character less evil than the devil? Yes. Huh? Hey, how do you know I'm evil? How do you know I'm a demon? You don't. No, you, know you don't. You never see my eyes flash red. Oh, there's an interesting problem for you. Next question. <laughs> next one. Okay, next question. Quickly, quickly. Not quickly. Forget quickly. I don't see Ben. Hey, Superman. My question is for Mark. Uh, since you like Dubai so much, uh, do you think it's a nice venue to start a series like Supernatural in Dubai? Supernatural in Dubai? CSI Dubai would probably be better. <laughs> It's supernatural Dubai. It'd be great for any of the shows to come here. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Hi. What do you think uh, characteristics do you think that the movie can? You get to speak into the microphone. Because 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 we've got a rave going on back there. We can't hear anything. What Michael character? Jackson. <laughs> what characteristics do you think that a movie character should have to be especially inspiring? I have no idea. I didn't hear it either. What characteristics what? Should, should a character have to be inspiring? Special. Say it again. Sorry, it's really loud behind us. What what you just specific? What characteristics do you think that a movie character should have to be special and inspiring? What character characteristics should a movie actor or actors have to be what character? What character? What, char what aspect should the character have to be aspiring to the fan? Oh, okay. Truth, justice, and the American way as Superman would have it. God, no, that's the most boring thing in the world. <laughs> Fatal flaws, alcoholism, a big gun. Womanizing. Big gun. A big gun always comes in useful. <laughs> All right, next question. Tony Stark, you're right. <laughs> You both look great. Uh, my question is for Mark Shepard. Uh, As opposed to any other Mark? Or me. Oh, I, think, I think Bruce Willis is up there. What's the question? Okay, uh, as your character in Supernatural Crowley, do you have any similarities with him? And if so, what are those similarities? I kiss an awful lot of men with beards. <laughs> hey, no. 